What's going on guys, Jaguar Dirty here, back to another vlog. I hope the wind noise isn't too bad and just skip the clickbait title. This car is gonna cost you $39,737 if you wanna build this exact same 5.0. So if you guys don't know, this is my 2013 Mustang GT 5.0. It's a base model, so I'm gonna go over everything. You guys have asked about everything on the car. Also, it's dirty. I went bogging. Shout out to Cletus McFarlane. Got some good bogging marks right there. She's a four wheel driver. So uh, yeah, we'll go over everything and I'll probably miss a couple things, but I made a note on my phone, added up the totals and that's what we got. So now let's break it down and show you guys all the specifics of the car. So I have my phone out right here and I have a note, like I said. So let's start with the big stuff. The big stuff would be the car. It's a base model 2013 Mustang GT. You can find that for about $20,000 on Craigslist. Again, that's if you want a premium and different features and options like a boss or something like that. It's all gonna change the price, but let's just say on average they're $20,000. That's the big thing, right? Obviously you have to start with the chassis. The next big thing would be the Airlift 3P kit and that is $3,500 on CJ Pony Parts. That's the Airlift and the Air Ride that you guys all love when it goes up and down and I'll put a little clip right here. That's the airlift and the air ride that you guys all know and love and that's what, you know, I have a little controller on the inside where I can raise it up and down. It made me re-fall in love with the car and I highly suggest if you guys can do it, get air at least once in your life. Everyone hates on it but, you know, static, I just don't want to damage the underside of my car just to be able to say I'm static. The wheels and tires, these are the XO Luxury Auckland's in 20 by 11 and 20 by I think 9. Uh, I just went more aggressive than my previous setup. And I have them wrapped in some tires, um, some Lexani tires, front and rear. Well, once I get my new front tires, they'll be matching. But yeah, we'll say that is 2300. Next is a big appearance thing you guys ask a lot about is the exhaust. That is the Corsa Sport Quad Tip from Hypermotive. And I have the diffuser on it too to fit that, the GT500 diffuser. That right there, the axle back, which is literally from the axles back, is $1,050 and the lethal off-road H-pipe, which you can't see, but also adds to the noise. That is $420. And then the diffuser to actually fit this axle back, because the standard one is a dual tip, not a quad, is $300. So with all of that added up, the big stuff, uh, just to get it basically how it looks right now, if you guys did want all the smaller details, um, would be $27,570. So I'll do a running total as we start adding things up in all the categories, but also I'll give you the final grand total, which you guys already know, because I just don't want to clickbait you guys. Next will be the carbon fiber, which I have the True Fiber Boss 302 carbon fiber front lip. Uh, that one on CJ Pony Parts is about $600. And right below it, I have the fitted racing chassis mounted splitter. Uh, that is done by my buddy John, and those go for about $300. Wrapping around, got the mud bogging, but these are carbon fiber side skirt extensions, which are covered in mud right there, which is pretty cool. Um, those on CJ Pony Parts are $430. Next, I have the mud flaps in carbon fiber as well. Uh, those are $107 on CJ Pony Parts. I forgot to add these, um, so I have these as well. These are the rear side skirt extensions. Those, I think, go for like $100 as well on CJ Pony Parts, so. I forgot that, so add an extra 100 on my total I told you guys. Next, I have the license plate surround, which is from, I think, True Fiber as well. That's $215 on CJ Pony Parts. Have a video on that. And then lastly, for carbon fiber stuff, I have the GT500 spoiler. Uh, this goes for $589 on CJ Pony Parts. Pretty sick. I think the GT500 spoiler is just like the best one for these cars. It's a... Uh, just the perfect balance of like duckbill and spoiler. I don't know. And the fact that it's carbon fiber makes it pretty cool. After adding all of the carbon fiber in there, the running total is now $29,811. So that would basically get you the wheels and tires slammed on the ground and all the carbon fiber and lip pieces. So that's pretty cool if you guys wanted to do that, which I think is the majority of the car that you can see. Um, that would be only about $30,000. That's not including any of the labor and stuff like that because uh, obviously you have to get alignments and all that crap. So yeah, we're just gonna go off of the, uh, the price of the parts. Uh, these are just retail part prices. Um, obviously you can find deals and work with people to make better prices, but just going off of what the internet has right away whenever you Google stuff. Next, we're coming back up front and have a slaughter of a Monarch butterfly right there and a bunch of bugs. But uh, we have a Cervini GT500 style upper grill. Uh, actually, I had to repaint that, but that doesn't matter. Uh, it's $220 on CJ Pony Parts. I have the matching lower grill as well. 
Uh, that one's $190 on CJ Pony Parts. That is disgusting looking with all the bugs. I need to wash this car. Right there we have the GTCS fog lights. Uh, I got those from a guy local, but if you want to buy them online in case you can't find them locally, uh, they're $120 on LMR. Big statement piece of this car are the yellow calipers and the yellow hints, which is kind of the theme I went with. So these yellow calipers I think were like $75 worth of materials and I did it myself. I have a video on that as well on the channel if you want to look that up. Uh, just takes your own time, I'd say a full day. And I did the power stop brakes, which I didn't add in here into this list, but oh well, you're gonna need brakes at some point. So just make them power stop and you're good to go. Let's wrap back around to the rear. I'm sorry if the camera work sucks. I'm trying to beat the light. This is the Fred's Parts deck lid, the wart remover. I think this is actually discontinued now. So I think this is a kind of rare piece. So yeah, that's the Fred's Parts one. It's a little bit different than the RTR. Wraps around the edge. Um, had no issues with mine, some people do. I've been loving mine. Uh, makes a big difference on the rear end. And then I have the 15 plus uh, GT badge. So that's the only cool part of the S550s I really like. But um, I think that was $250. So right now our running total with more of the exterior stuff like the, the wart remover and uh, some grills, it's at $30,666. Ooh. I didn't really realize that until I said it out loud, but yep, that's the price so far. Um, and I forgot those mud flaps, so it's actually like 766. Big thing right away, safety restore, $75 a seatbelt out of the front and the rear, so that's four. So that is $300, pretty sweet. Uh, they are working on getting an actual yellow that's more matching, because this is more highlightery, kind of like this sticker. So we're trying to get that worked out, but uh, they're really cool, they're working with me and I'm just letting in a crap ton of bugs, so that's cool. Another big statement piece is, oh God. Another big statement piece is this carbon fiber steering wheel. You guys love it. It's expensive, I know. Awesome piece though, flat bottom, yellow stitching, uh, perforated leather. So this was 800 bucks, definitely worth it. Also it comes with this carbon fiber side trim, the button trim, doesn't move around or anything, it's nice and solid, so. I really like it, 800 bucks. Something you can't see, but I wish you could, is the MGW shifter. It's down there though. That was about 470 bucks, uh, so like 500 bucks. Attached to that is my Doty shift knob with the logo from Anarchy Motive. This goes for like 120 bucks, but be warned, it may take a while to come in. Um, you might get lucky, you might not risk it. You know, just make sure you know that that's a warning and it may take a while. I have the window tint, which is 5% and 35%. The five goes all the way around. That was done by Elite Audio, that logo you can see right there, for $550. So quality tent does not come cheap, but it does have a lifetime warranty anywhere in the United States. This right here is hydro dipped. This is not real carbon fiber, although I want it to be real carbon fiber. Actually, this was already on the car when I got it, but let's just say 200 bucks. I have the Alcantara e-brake boot and shifter boot. So this is real Alcantara, like name brand Alcantara. So that was not cheap. Um, and it has the yellow stitching to match, so I have it right here and right here. So uh, yeah, I think that was around 120 bucks, maybe actually more, uh, I can't remember, and I was too lazy to look at my emails for my orders, but yeah, we'll go with 120. Got this mod, it's the Skosh phone mount. I have a little magnet on the back, goes like that. You guys love that thing, it's like 10 bucks. In my doors that you can't see are upgraded speakers because I have a base model without the sub on the door. So I have the Pioneer TS D1330C component speakers which are $110 on Amazon. Probably gonna upgrade those to JL in the future just because these JL subs, which I'm about to tell you about, have really surprised me. Into the trunk, oh, low car, hard to get out when you're tall. And the box is all shifted, so let's fix it. These are two W3 10 inch subs that are ported it's a custom box that uh, obviously still allows me to have tons of trunk space. I mean, I have golf clubs sitting right here. I barely even tap into the potential of these subwoofers because I know these things can do a lot more than what I'm doing, but I just like the OEM like plus sound. I'm not trying to like rattle my you know entire windows apart. So I just kept it OEM plus, just a little bit of beat and it's super clean. Those are $230 each for the speakers and the box was I think $100, so that's $560 for that little box set up with two speakers. Kind of expensive, but JL Audio, good quality, sold me on it. Phoenix Gold Amp is what is running that. I never heard of those, I got it used, but I looked it up, it's about $400, which is I guess pretty good. 
and people seem to really like them and it runs these no problems there's not any cutting out or anything like that and with the subwoofer and all the interior stuff so far our running total is $34,281 let's pop the hood and show you guys some performance stuff so performance wise I have the Boss 302 intake manifold and I don't have the top cover on there still because I haven't gotten around to painting it but that goes for $530 this is the air raid cold air intake and uh, have the you know sound tube delete thing we did together that goes for $382 I think on American Muscle I'm not counting painting those because that I would pay a million dollars for that because it took a very long time and my girlfriend helped me out but that's not included always the same paint as the calipers so that matches perfectly to be able to run this and the catless exhaust without a check engine light you do need a tuner so I have the Lund N-Gage right there. Lund Racing is the one that tuned my car. That goes for $450 just for this tuning device, which also shows a lot of gauges. And then the tuning for the aftermarket intake manifold with the cold air intake and catless exhaust, that was $350. So pretty expensive for that, but it does wake the car up big time. Right here, I have a JLT oil catch can. That was only 140 bucks. Catches a lot of the blow by when you're at high RPMs or whatever. So. Just good to uh, protect your engine. That was $140, like I said, so pretty cheap. Good, like, I guess, security for your engine. A Couple of things that you can't see, uh, I wish you could see them because I spent a lot of money on them, is the drive shaft shop, one piece aluminum drive shaft. That's $755. Um, I have a Mantic 9000 Sarah Metallic twin disc, and I wish you could see that because that was $1,900. Big deal to have that clutch in there. That opens up a lot more doors for the MT-82 and what this car can do, especially because when you get the Boss 302, you start revving higher. Uh, that just opens up a new can of worms and you can't shift to three at high RPMs. This clutch, I did not record my first high RPM shifts, like I said I would, but it goes hard. Like this thing, this is like butter whenever you shift it at high RPMs. The McLeod stainless braided line, uh, that silver line right there, there at the edge of my phone. That line was 60 bucks. The flywheel bolts, whenever you do the clutch, were 50 bucks. And we also did the Steeda transmission brace insert, which just kind of stiffened up everything. But people say if you have the MGW, you don't need it. I did it as a precaution. That was only 30 bucks. Whew, I'm going fast because we are running out of light. But the running total right now is $38,928, just as you see it right now with all those mods. Uh, the other couple things are going to be suspension, which really just help put the power down, so let's get into those. Because I'm on bags and I have the one-piece drive shaft, there's not a uh, you know universal joint in the middle, so whenever the drive shaft angle is off, it can cause a big problem. So what I did was I bought the BMR upper adjustable control arm and mount. That was $380. I have the BMR adjustable pan hard bar, which is how I get some crazy fitment. So that's my fitment on this side. And... That is my fitment on this side. So how did I do that? Well, you have to adjust the pan hard bar and I don't even rub in the rear on big bumps. So that's pretty cool. Up here we have the BMR strut tower bar, which clears the Boss 302. I actually have the OEM Boss 302 one. However, it's got some scuffs on it and I want to get it powder coated so I don't have it in here. But I bought this one off Craigslist for like 50 bucks, but brand new, they're $110. So I just like having it there I don't like it being naked, especially because the factory came with it, so I wanna keep it. And finally, in the rear, you can't even see it. Maybe down there, that little bar right there. That is the JM Extreme Lower Control Arm. Those go for $180. They're basically traction bars, so that way uh, there's no wheel hop and stuff like that. It really does help when you're putting down the power, though. The total price of this car is $39,737. I hope that answers your guys' questions because you guys ask what's on the car. I'm pretty sure I missed a bunch of other things, but obviously it doesn't include any of the install prices or like the alignments or I don't know, install stuff. We're losing light and we're using this nice orange light that's gonna attract all the bugs. So this is gonna be wrapped up really quick. This is my baby. This is the car of my dreams that I really like, I had this vision for. Oh, it's all coming to life. Like I wanted a bagged 5.0. Ask any of my friends in high school whenever I had just a Ford Focus if I was going to have a bagged 5.0. They'd all say, well, at some point he will. Maybe not soon, but he'll have it. But I did it pretty soon, and this is the way I wanted it to be. Obviously, over the years, things are going to change. Parts are going to change, and the use of the car may change. So 
It may be a, a drag car for a couple of years and then it goes to a road race car and then it goes back to a street car. I really don't know. That's the beauty of 5.0s and Mustangs in general is they're super customizable. Make them however you want. You can enjoy them however you want. This one's mine. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, then please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Whoa there, brother and sister bears. Before you guys go, I need to give a big shout out to Car Gazette. Check them out. Here's the box for this month. I'm just gonna quickly open it up and show you guys what's inside. Turn her up. And we have the poster. Let's start off with the poster. It's pretty sweet. I just got Australian on you guys for a second, but this is a Supra poster or a Supra cockpit. Pretty sweet. We have an SS, which is sacrilege for me because I'm a 5.0 guy. Can't lie, the six gens do look pretty mean sometimes. So, you know what? I'll give this one to my buddy Sabir and he'll be loving it. We also got a sweet tool organizer. This is what your sockets can go on. So it looks like they're 3 8 which is the most common size. Put all your tools on there and organize them. Chemical guys, glass cleaner, always getting some detail products. Can always count on that with Car Gazette. Ooh, a coaster, that's pretty cool. So it's actually a coaster that you can use. It says cheers with the gear on it. So I'll be using this on the office. SS sticker. Gear air freshener, which is black ice. Always nice to refresh those. H pattern sticker going on the toolbox. Business card, I love the finish on that. It looks sick. Trusty gray microfibers, I actually have one right there, but also this month has one as well. You can always count on it. Last teacher has saved the manual with the H pattern. I'm gonna assume it's bigger on the back. Boom, there it is. So that's the back. I really like this design actually. I just love it how it's clean and classy. Definitely gonna be wearing this one out. So again, a huge thank you to Car Gazette. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now peace out, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>